Heather Belgas. And I'm Dr. Steve G. Jones. And joining us today is Marshall Silver. Hello. The millionaire maker and the greatest hypnotist of all time. Both of those being trademarked, by the way. And we're in his house. <laughs> <laughs> we You're are. The Prosperity Palace. <laughs> this is the proof. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta love it here. And we are talking, appropriately enough, about subconscious programming of millionaires. Now, Marshall's known as a stage hypnotist, but he also does a lot of personal development work and teaches people how to become millionaires, hence the name millionaire maker, of course. <laughs> what I want to talk about is the inner world. So we've got the outer world, we've got the hands-on stuff, and we've got the inner world, which is more the mindset, the spiritual stuff. Right. And you just said you wanted to stand out when you made this. Yes. That it's good to stand out. And it worked. <laughs> So let's Still making an impact. It, it, yes. You've pressed that thing, what, four or five times already? And it's fun. And everybody out there wants one now. Don't you admit it, you do. <laughs> well, I, whether you do or not, I still like it. All right, so, l so let's talk a little bit about how to stand out, whether yeah. it's in business or whether it's in personal life. How do we stand out and make an impact on others? Now, you have to be a little careful with this because a lot of people are wise to rapport. They've been to rapport building seminars and so <laughs> forth. So if you're... It, you know, and, and you got to remember, you got to act like a mirror. So if your left hand raises, well, a mirror image would be my right hand raising. So if I scratch my head, then I would scratch with this hand, not this I hand. If I lean forward, right, then I would lean forward like that. Huh. So, so you're using your right arm. But doesn't that come across a little bit like you're imitating me? You're mimicking me, maybe? It can. So you have to do it very subtly, especially with people being wise to this information. It's all about your time. It's the highest and best use of your What about time? automatically like having your Facebook post go to Twitter, and then you don't have to worry about yeah, it? Absolutely, you can do that too. So you okay. can connect. With that also yeah so they cross you when they're and here we are okay so, so years later. <laughs> clearly with 14 launches that made at least a million dollars a piece you know how to properly craft an offer <laughs> how important is it though? I, th I, I think so yeah, yeah I, I think you've demonstrated this so, so how important I mean a lot of people don't put thought into this they don't think it's something that, that's important so how important is it to properly craft the offer I am paying a maid for two hours. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's that's the first mental stumbling block to get over. It's like, oh, now I'm going to actually pay someone to do something that I'm perfectly capable of doing. Well, it's a better, it's a better question. Coverage. It's a better question. The uh -huh. question is, what's the highest and best use of your time? Well, that's what I was going to ask is, okay, once I freed up this so-called 20 hours that I somehow leveraged out of two hours, which is brilliant, I'm now, now, what am I supposed and to be, now what am I supposed to be doing with that 20 hours that I've just freed up that you call IGA? What, what kind of activities make an IGA? Uh, anything that can be translated immediately into money. All right. Well, Michelle, we're talking about competing in, you know, business is kind of seen as a man's world, right? And we talked about the myths at the beginning. Now, one of the things that was on the list of myths it really hit home for me. You can't be cute and smart. And clearly, anyone watching the video online can certainly see that you're a beautiful woman. You're also successful in business. And I would like to know if your looks ever get in the way of people taking you seriously or thinking what your abilities could be. Folks, that is one woman speaking to another woman. <laughs> I, I'm stepping over just a little bit. Go ahead. Bye-bye, Paul. <laughs> no, really, it's a great question, though. Go ahead. Go ahead. It is a good question, and the answer to that is yes until I open my mouth. Right. Got it. So, okay. um, yeah, and I recently had a situation that uh, the other day happened where I had to uh, – feel that just a stupid stupid male ego comment can i say that yeah yeah so yeah sure anyway but we're honest here <laughs> <laughs> paul's moving back even more <laughs> you know well, that, that, this is the, this is the thing heather for women y don't look at this as competition look at this as the value that you give what, are, what is the value that you bring to the table right okay who are you <laughs> i'm so glad you said that because that's the missing piece that a lot of people don't have when they're teaching so they teach all the what I call the outer world hands-on how to they teach people step by step this is what you do this is the results and of course we need that but they forget to teach about the inner world part which is really the foundation like you said you can't achieve anything if the mindset's not correct so can you just give kind of what mindset do you have like even Facing failure, even when things go wrong, even when your campaign screws up, doesn't get the results you want. What, what? is your mindset throughout the whole thing? I have heard that you're going to speak more than once. 
Uh, yeah, I'll be speaking. Uh, today I spoke on becoming an uh, expert authority, mm -hmm. and tomorrow I speak on digital marketing gone wild. Uh, okay, that sounds really intriguing. What exactly does that mean? Uh, digital marketing gone wild. A lot of people focus on one part of the internet. Anytime I need it. I like it. I <laughs> but, like let's, it. but let's take this another step further. So we're talking about the business people. Sure, there's times when they need confidence, and they can do, yeah, confident, yeah. All right, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill this one. I'm going into an interview, for instance, when I'm about to interview someone. Yeah, feel good about this. I can see using that. But then we've got the bigger overriding fears: the fear of success, the fear of failure, the fear of looking like an idiot, the fear of not knowing what we're doing. So, you know, we can't just keep confidenting ourselves all the time, right? <laughs> can we? We're, we're like, how often? Can't. <laughs> We want to get the Chumba Wamba song in there. Get knocked down, get back up again. Nothing going to keep me down. <laughs> so. There you go. I like it. Should I get up and dance? <laughs> yeah, go for it. <laughs> All right. I really want to find out what this strategy is that you have that's so easy a nine-year-old can do it. Because that sounds really <laughs> appealing. What is yeah, it? yeah, yeah. Right. Well, they don't want to come to my home. You know? But what I say is, hey, Alex is a really cool guy. He's a friend of mine. He's got this awesome thing. I know it'll help you out. Click, go see what he's got. Exactly. And and you're still saying go to a stranger's home. Now, right. But, that, but he's my friend, so he's not totally a stranger. <laughs> right. And there, you're a good affiliate marketer. I mean, that's great as far as the hands-on how-to. This is, this is the outer world stuff. Yeah. Now I want to take a step to the inner world stuff because when you start talking about all those steps, mm -hmm. a lot of people, first of all, they get overwhelmed. Yeah. They never do it. But they never do it. And they have a mindset of either it's too hard mm -hmm. or what if I fail? So how do you get them over all those stumbling blocks? So with the VPN site, how long did it take you to build it to the point where it started making money? Uh, less than six weeks. Okay. So within the first six weeks, that's when you're doing, you're writing the reviews, you're doing the on-page SEO, and you're getting the backlinks. And by the time six weeks passes and you've got your backlink structure all built, then the income just automatically starts coming? Yeah, it, it, it comes down to your, your ranking. You mentioned that this is related to creativity. Now, I know a lot of people who are writers or want to be writers or want to create products online, for example. Mm -hmm. They run into these blocks. We mm -hmm. call it writer's block if it's a writer, but it can be any amount of creativity blockage that says, what am I going to do? How right. am I going to get this done? So how do you suggest that people overcome that? Because that means I'm growing upon my past successes and myself as a, a human being to have greater impact and that's that's really the goal right impact yeah yeah that's awesome thank you so much Joel I love being here to unwrap a new side of you it was a lot of fun I love what came uh, out of this uh, apparently we unwrapped this side so <laughs> next time we'll yeah this side. There, all right I feel unwrapped that, now. yeah see <laughs> I did it I unwrapped him I'm happy okay <laughs> see ya bye